Diego Santos's return from a career-long 490-day layoff did not go according to the plan on Saturday. He suffers a third-round submission loss to Glover Teixeira in a very memorable fight in the UFC on ESPN Plus 40 headliner. Uh, Teixeira comes back from a double knee surgery. Of course, we knew what he did in that fight with John Jones, becoming the first fighter to ever take a scorecard off Jones in his split decision defeat back at UFC 239. But in this one, he just did not look to be quite the same guy we saw on that night. How much does getting both his knees operated on play into that? Definitely some questions there. I'm sure he would make no excuses, but the ring rust, the time away, the surgeries, I'm sure played into account there. It definitely seemed like when he was on his back, which was a lot of time in this fight before getting submitted, he was not able to be very explosive from that position, able to get up with Teixeira on top of him. Definitely credit to Teixeira's amazing top game there as well, but we just didn't quite see that same explosiveness from the bottom we've seen out of Santos in the past. Have to wonder if the knees do factor in there. Nevertheless, he did have his opportunities to win this fight in more ways than one hurt to share very badly in the first round and again in the third it seems like maybe if he had picked his shots a little better being a little more methodical in his approach instead of really trying to finish the fight with crazy flurries he could have maybe got a stoppage or chipped away at Teixeira more to the point where he did finish the fight but he really let everything go in those moments and wasn't able to get the finish Teixeira capitalized got himself back in the fight and ultimately won I do not think the book is written on Santos at this point though he is 36 years old, but I think coming back to a fight of this magnitude after such serious injuries, perhaps uh, maybe a little bit too much for him, of course, with his position in the division, kind of the fight he had to take, but maybe now he can take a little bit of a step back, fight someone a little lower in the rankings. I think there's lots of interesting matchups for him in this light heavyweight division, and I'd like to see him fight a fellow striker, a guy who will go out there and try to slug with him, and that would be Volkan Ozdemir, another guy with a lot of knockouts on his record. I think that would be a very interesting matchup, an opportunity opportunity for Santos to try to bounce back from this loss, get himself back on track. Uh, we saw it in this fight, how hard this guy hits. We've seen how hard Ozdemir can hit. He's a guy who's coming off a tough KO loss of his own against Yuri Prohoshka. He's looking to rebound. What better opportunity to get back on track than a fight against Santos?